Why, hello, you amazing, beautiful people, and welcome back to another Tuesday reaction video. So, I've actually been seeing a lot of recommendations in my comment section recently asking me to do another Tuesday where we check out some more songs. It's been a while since on a Tuesday we actually just reacted to a bunch of new songs I haven't heard before, and a lot of you have been asking me to check out these three. I pretty much see recommendations for these three back to back in every video I've uploaded to Taylor Swift for like the last month or so, and that is Say Don't Go. Uh, now That We Don't Talk, and Suburban Legends, uh, all from Vault Tracks. These have been so heavily recommended, so let's finally do them. Please also let me know, what would you like to see on these Tuesdays? Keep the recommendations coming. I've been reading the comment sections, I've been seeing what you're all asking for, and that's what I'll be reacting to, that's how these Tuesdays are directed. So let me know, what would you all like to see me react to next week? It can be a compilation clip, or any anything. It can be songs or random Taylor stuff, anything Taylor Swift related. Let me know down below. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel as well, unless I'm into my first time ever reaction. It feels like ages since I heard a brand new song, like, like an official audio version. To Taylor Swift, say don't go. I've known it from the very start. We're a shot in the darkest dark. after the um the album comes out do the vault tracks come out you know like the 1989 album when this was released how long after did the vault tracks come out or do they come out like on a special edition they come out with the album because they have like such a different energy to like the rest of the album from what i've heard of them so far Are all the Vault tracks like this? Are all of them like this sort of style and sound? They might like... <laughs> I haven't heard many of them, but the ones I've heard give me like a, a Midnight's vibe almost, you know? All of them do. It feels like the Vault tracks are much more like... Like they could be an album of their own. Like I, like, I don't know if they're from different albums and that sort of stuff, but what, like maybe they are. Maybe, maybe they are just an album of their own. But they literally have like this like mellow... Like, uh, what's the word? Something beat? You would say, like, something beat? You know? Like, uh, a mellow, like, nighttime sort of vibe beat energy to them. I, don't, I really don't know how to better describe it, but that's exactly what they have. They've got, like, this really weird, like, like almost like a, a synth pop beat, you know? And I love it. They're, like, my favorite songs from Taylor. They're, like, such, like, mind unplugged songs. They are just beautiful. And she always sounds, like, so soothing, and just, uh, the vocals are always so perfect. Now I'm pacing on shaky ground. I love them so much. Strike a match when you blow it up. Oh no, oh no, it's not fair. Cause you kiss me and it stops time. And I'm yours, but you're not mine. Oh no, oh no, you're not there. I'm standing.
Taylor's music is just straight up poetry, you know. It, like, it really is. You can hear my dog going crazy because I think my sister-in-law has just arrived, by the way. I don't know if that's being picked up by the microphone, just in case people were wondering. But the lyrics are just absolute poetry. It's so bizarre sitting here with, like, conflicted feelings. One, really enjoying the song, the melody, the style, the sound of the song, and sort of just smiling at how much I'm loving this song. And then catching the lyrics, reading them and, like, unpacking them a little bit and realizing that the song itself is a bit more heartbreaking then i'm the emotions i'm sort of feeling from the mellow style of the song it's a it's a it's a, it's a sad bop you know I'm about to fall unless you say, don't lyrically it's very well done as well the times oh this build up for the chorus is so nice Love the lyrics. Why'd you whisper in the dark? Just leave me in the light. Now your silence has me screaming. The contradictions and parallels of the lyrics are so well written. Just like masterfully well done. Queen of Bridges. Give me nothing back. Why do you have to? Do you know what's like a real nice touch on this song as well? Is Taylor sounds exhausted. You know, she's sort of like exhaling into that like microphone. It's like very like panicked, out of breath, sort of singing, you know? And I, I feel like that's a real nice effect to this song where this song is actually, you know, don't go, don't leave me, why'd you have to do this? And it's sort of like someone, like it feels like very stressful and like, and exhausted, you know? And um, not just waiting for someone to say something and they're not saying it. And I feel like this effect of her voice here, this breathing effect, completely brilliantly ties it all together. Give me nothing back. Why do you have to make me love you? I said I love you. You say nothing back. Oh my god, that would go so good live. Why do you have to leave? The vault tracks are so fucking good! I love like the backing chant that she's added to this as well. This has been masterfully constructed. It's such a great song. But you won't, but you Reminds me of another one of her songs lyrically. I, I can't remember which one. If you say, Don't go. There's another song with a similar sort of but you story. But you but you Quite a famous one. I have to say. I am loving these vault tracks. They are awesome. They are so good. I don't know how it works. Like, are all the vault tracks from the 1989 album, every single one of them, are there different vault tracks for different albums? Let's have a look. They might all be 1989. The other two we've got today are also 1989. This came out a year ago. Did 1989 come out a while ago? Oh, Taylor's version. Ah, oh, interesting, interesting. Okay. Seriously. Seriously, these are fucking amazing. The, the, the vault tracks are so good. They are outstanding. There is so much effort and love has gone into creating them. Musically, they are just outstanding. They are such a vibe. They are like this mellow, beautiful freaking vibe. They are like, they're like, it's like such an unplug. You know, and like the instrumental and Taylor's vocals, like this soft, like, I'd like, like almost like 
otherworldly vocals, you know, like like literally like the other side. It's got like a sort of spiritual sort of like like tone to it. I, I can't even properly describe how she sounds, but it does sound a bit spiritual. You know, it sounds echoey and, and mellow. And it's, it's, it's like a different sort of style to Taylor that we're used to. But it's also something we've seen her do effortlessly. You know, we've seen it on a bunch of tracks. You know, she's done a so bunch of songs of Reputation, Midnight's Like This. It's like a, a sort of like tone that she's very comfortable doing. And it's my favorite tone of hers. You know, it is this like slow, mellow tone. And it just feels so unplugged and relaxing. And I just, I fall for it every time. I'm a sucker for it. I absolutely fucking love it. And it's why I just love these Volt tracks so much. I already know I'm going to love the next two. I know I'm going to love them. If they're anything like that, oh my word, they're so good. They're so good. <laughs> these songs are fucking amazing. They're like instant playlist adders. Like instant. This next one's only two minutes and 30 seconds long. Taylor, that is uncalled for. How dare you tease us with a two minute and 30 second long song? Oh, let's do it. All right. Now that we don't talk. Oh my word. Every song from the Vault is perfect. <clears throat> Already sounds a bit like Fortnite. to a party i heard from everybody you part the crowd like the red sea don't even get me started did you get anxious though on the way home i guess i'll never ever know now that we don't talk this might be the stupidest question i've ever asked but do celebrities feel the same romance sparks that we feel and again i i, I know it sounds stupid even asking it because the obvious answer is, of course they do. You know, they're humans too. Why wouldn't they? You know what I mean? But is it the same? Are the situations the same? Are the stories the same? I don't know if I sound like an idiot saying this, but the idea of like Taylor, like, ex like, like, I oh, get anxious on the ride home, like Taylor driving home with like, even like Travis, you know, and we've even seen it, but like, and being like just on their own, uh, separated from the world, having those like little intimate moments and the sparks and that sort of stuff at the beginning of the relationship, you know, where it's like, you know, you like touch their leg and it's like, oh, you know, they hold your hand, oh, cuddles, oh, kiss goodnight. You know, those little sparks and like where your heart's like fluttering, everything's like a bit crazy and moving fast, you know? You know what I mean? Everything's like exciting and you feel like, you just feel like a big kid. Um, and every, and you're always nervous, but like a good kind of nervous. You know what I mean? And I honestly, asking it just sounds stupid, but I, 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 would, I wonder, I do wonder. And I don't, I like, I would like to know like the stories and the feelings there a little bit. Not specifically around Taylor, but just like loads of people. Obviously, I wouldn't want to intrude, but yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Maybe I sound like an idiot asking that. If I do, I apologize. Yes, I'll never, ever know. Now that we don't talk. It gives me big time Fortnite vibes from the opening of this. And and uh, definitely tortured post department. You your hair sort of vibes. Long, you got new icons, and from the outside it looks like you're trying lives on. I really feel like this could be a track on Tortured Post Department. I miss the old ways. You didn't have to change, but I guess I don't have a say. Now that we don't talk. I call my mom, she said that it was for the best. God, that tone. Gosh, that tone, that tone, she mastered it on, on this. Oh, she has like a backing vocals, like echo that like ties it all together. She like somehow does a high note, but it's like whispering the high note. I don't even know how a human does this, but Taylor just effortlessly puts together these incredible friggin' vocals. <laughs> Feels like it could be a soundtrack for Stranger Things. Has that like 80s energy, I love it. I can literally just imagine like Eleven and Mike running like down a freaking old 80s street, you know, listening to this song. I, maybe that's why I love it. I've got, I'm a sucker for that like synth pop stuff. And I listen to tons of old like 80s, 70s, 90s sort of like pop. I wouldn't really call 90s like old, but you know what I mean? Like the early 90s sort of pop. And when I hear music like that, that gives me those sort of vibes. Maybe it's just like a nostalgic, like immediate attachment for me. I call my mom, she said to get it up my chest. Important men who think important thoughts. Guess maybe I 
actually really love the lyrics on this one. I feel like it's like literally just so true, like like a true story. Like Taylor literally just venting on a song here, you know. It kind of reminds me of a Good Charlotte song. Um, I think it was Good Charlotte, or it might have been it might have been Blink One Eighty Two. But they literally say like it's strange how times change and best friends become strangers. And it's a line that's like stuck with me my whole life because I always think about people I knew in school and how I don't even talk to them anymore. How if I saw them, I wouldn't know anything about them now, but they, I used to hang out with them every day. They were my best friends and I don't know them anymore. Or even past relationships, the people who you spent so much of your time and your life with who were so integral and important to your life. And yet you don't even think about them anymore. They're just no longer part of it. I always think about that sort of stuff. And this, we don't, I guess, now I'm not part of it. Now that we don't talk, reminds me of that. Back to my dignity. Was to turn into a shrouded mystery. Just like I had been when you were chasing me. Guess this is how it has to be. Now that people talk. I really like the, um, the visuals on that lyric video as well. Um, by the way, that's not even a 2 minute and 30 second long song. That's two minutes and twenty two well, two minutes and twenty two seconds long. I'm angry with Taylor. <laughs> I'm angry. Uh, it should be illegal for Taylor to make a song that is less than twenty minutes. <laughs> I don't ask for much. But I <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. I, you see what I mean by the sound, by the way? Because We Don't Talk had the same sort of style and sound. They've all got that same sound and energy, which just makes me love them so much. I feel like this one in particular, the lyrics and the way it was written, felt like a bit more like, a, like I'm trying to think of the word, cocky, confident Taylor, you know? You know, a bit more like, a, but it, it, it did and it didn't. Because the lyrics as well, it like, were kind of like, again, that exhausted kind of nature. It's like, ugh. Oh. I guess, you know, I can't do this. I guess this. I guess I'm not involved. I guess I don't have a say now that we don't talk. But at least I don't have to pretend about these things and pretend about this and pretend to like these things and want to do these things. At least that's done. You know, and then the moments of weakness, calling her mum and talking to her mum about these situations is, is like brilliantly well done. Where it is like, it is like in its complete randomness of emotions that Taylor seems to be going through in this song, it makes it so real. Because in these situations, you don't just feel one thing. You don't just follow one emotion. You do go through multiple. And you and, and you do go through like a roller coaster of emotions. And in every breakup, you do. It's amazing how much your mind changes, how much you look at things differently and your perspective changes when you just go down that rabbit hole of emotions at the end of a relationship, you know? And I love that Taylor was somehow able to catch those like twirling emotions in such a short song. And I feel like lyrically as well, it just tied together really nicely. And it's just another one of those songs with a sound that I just fall in love with. I'm, I, 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 again, another song from The Vault that I just fucking love. I love these so much. They are all instant, just like playlist adders. Every single one of them. I have to, I've got to react to all of these Vault songs. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to start listening to The Vault, The Vault when I'm, when I'm driving around and stuff. You had people. Oh, I probably, I probably should announce before I press play. Um, <laughs> this one is Suburban Legends, the last of the three we're doing. You had people who called you on unmarked numbers in my peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. I let it slide like a hose on a slippery plastic summer, always quickly forgiven. You were so magnificent. That line. That line, I let it slide like a hose on a slippery plastic summer, is, is so specific. Always quickly forgiven. Amazing. You were so magnetic, it was almost obnoxious. Flush with the currency of cool. Oh, I actually love that line. You were so magnetic, it was almost obnoxious. That's amazing. Just like you were just like, you was like, you just drew people so much to you. <laughs> but like fuck you for that. <laughs> I was always turning out my empty pockets. And when it came to you, I didn't come Oh, the instrumental's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. That like build up.
Does just paint a brilliant picture. I feel like Taylor does an excellent job. Do you know what? Actually, there's another thing I don't feel like I've properly pointed out with the vault tracks is they feel incredibly nostalgic, and they feel like they have a real tie to the past. You know, like a young romance and all those feelings of like young romance and the ideas of like these part these partners and relationships we form in school and the like that that idea. You know, the old school, the younger romance, the younger love, and it has like that kind of tie to it, that kind of like nostalgia, which I guess makes sense as well with the instrumental sort of having like an older 80s sort of feel to it as well like a modernized 80s synth pop style it is just like it just like encourages those feelings of like nostalgia it, it like encourages us to go get lost in our own memories and it's amazing how she does that even with her lyrics as well and bringing her own truth into it it sends us back on these like journeys as well it's actually just like fantastically well done how she's able to do that funny how that like that line as well i broke my heart because you were too polite to do it i feel like that could be like many like layered and looked at differently for me i'm looking at that line as like when you're in a relationship that you you can feel it fizzing you know the person's not that invested into it but they just keep like not doing anything it doesn't keep ending it just strings along it becomes like stale and you have to make the call even though you don't want to you know the person's like lost it but they're just not doing anything and you have to like break your own heart essentially i have to say as well the visuals for these lyric videos are really like really beautiful Talk on the clock i based down your block i broke my own heart because you were too polite to do it waves crash to the shore i dash to the door you don't knock anymore that my life would be ruined when you're young and you go through these like young romances it does feel like our whole world is over it's crazy how that actually happens like that feeling actually occurs <laughs> God, I'm in love with these vault tracks, man. <laughs> I'm in love with them. <laughs> I'm actually in love with them. They are so freaking amazing. It's funny, listening to that literally sent me my mind on like a, a romantic dance. I was thinking about many things. Like like I just said there at the end, it's true. In a breakup, you do feel like you have you do feel like your heart breaks. You know? You do. When you go through these breakups and, and when you end a relationship, you feel like your heart breaks. You feel that here. And I feel like Taylor captures that amazing, that feeling, you know? Um, it's so strange because you're... It, I, I still look back at, like, young 16-year-old Luke, 17-year-old Luke, you know, still studying, still in academics and going through a relationship and, like, being dumped and going through that heartbreak and, and looking at your world and feeling like your whole world is over. It's done, you know? Well, how can I go on living? What can I do? Did she, you know, she was my life. It's over. And then looking back at it now as an adult who's married with two kids, it's just like, you're an idiot. <laughs> but also understanding, you know? It's like, you're an idiot, but you're not, you know, it's not your fault you're an idiot. You're naive. You know, you're young. You don't know any better. 
And um, and yeah, I always look back at like my old self and like old emotions and old situations and how I was feeling in these times. I'm always like, it's crazy how it feels like your whole world when it is like literally nothing, nothing to your world. I feel like it's always important to make sure that you give people um, enough love and encouragement when they go through these situations when they are younger. Because I feel like it's very easy for adults to dismiss it because we all know better now. We've gone through it. And I remember when I was going through things like that when I was younger, your parents wouldn't really be much help. Your friends would be the best help. Your parents wouldn't really help you because they're adults, you know. They they just dismiss it. And they, they almost forget how it felt when they were that young because they know that it's not as significant as the younger person's making it out to be. You need to remember how much it, it, it hurts when you're that young. I feel like that's like an important thing to, to think about. And the other thing I was thinking about was just like with these songs and like, and Taylor talking about like uh, pretending to like things and these sort of things. I felt like that I, when I like, when I met my wife, we could not have been further from each other. We could not have been more different, like literally nearly polar opposites, you know, um, like no one would expect us to be a couple. I was very quiet. Um, I like didn't I don't I didn't go out. I was very quiet, um, very like cool, you know, you know, the quiet, cool. Um, I'm, I'm taking I'm making fun of myself, by the way. I'm not saying I'm not going like, oh, yeah, I was well cool. And like in a serious way. Um and like very like quiet and very you know like that that sort of like quiet reserve sort of person and um you know like not really into much not really chatty not really like emotional you know that was like me um and my wife was very outgoing very chatty very loud <laughs> the complete opposite very sociable and what happened is these two different people were well, like now I, I i make fun of my wife because i say my wife is just the better looking version of me with boobs <laughs> that's that's what i call her i go you're just me with boobs because <laughs> she is we've like molded into the same person over 10 years we've now like just become the same person and i feel like that is the good signs of a relationship you know like a good relationship. That's what it should be. Because like you find a relationship, you're completely opposite. But you'll know it's right when it's easy. And you'll know it's right when you want to make that effort. You know, when, when you don't have to pretend. When you want to. That's when you know. That's when it clicks. Like where my wife was so different, but I wanted to make an effort. And I wanted to make an effort to like the things she liked. And she wanted to make an effort to like the things I liked. And together we both just stepped into each other's lives... And it became a different life. One where we just appreciated and learned to love what the other one loved. And now we both love the same things. And we sort of like grow as a relate like as, as people together in a relationship, even as adults. And yeah, and you and you just teach each other like that, you know, there's different things out there. And I feel it's it's well, the reason I'm saying all this is because I feel like Taylor's vault tracks bring out all of that in me. All three of these songs send me on that rabbit hole, send me on that like emotional journey, make me think, make me wonder and take me back to my younger years and take me back to the beginning of my relationship with my wife and everything. And, and I love that. I love that Taylor's able to in like encapsulate the emotions so perfectly of all that like nostalgic energy for this brilliant, like old school 80s synth pop, unique instrumental to her, to the soft, soothing freaking vocals with the brilliant effects that she adds to it. The backing vocals as well, tying it all together and takes us on these fantastic journeys. The vault tracks are utterly stunning and I love that they bring out all of this in me. I don't know. How do they make you feel? For me, they just feel like a spa. You know, a mental spa, so calming and relaxing, so tranquil. And I feel like the visuals really showcase that as well with the waves and the wind blowing and the trees. It's like, that's how the songs feel. Despite their lyrics sometimes being quite like emotionally devastating in ways, um, I feel like they still feel some like weirdly peaceful, you know? I don't even know how to explain why they do, but they weirdly do. Anyway, let me know. What's your favorite song of the three we checked out? How do they make you feel? And uh, I don't know, you got any stories you want to share? Yeah, share, share, share. Put them down below. I always love reading the comments. Have an amazing day, you wonderful people. Let me know what you'd like me to check out next week. Do not forget to like and subscribe. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.